okay this shows that you all you all are well read yeah kabhi kabhi sahi bhi kar sakte hain lekin you know appropriate critic to aise nahi ki kuch bhi bol do ha fir bhi karna hai to humko malum nahi hona hai aisa smart bol theek hai start and end in a structured manner as you know the person who starts and the person who ends will get some good points start only when you know the topic please as a nikki bol ke aayo ghar mein ki aaj main hi start karunga jeevi hai you know i will start please if it is not your topic you don't start observe what is going on and then speak and end also keep a note on the timer okay you should be aware of uh, the time which is going to end and speak exactly when there is only 30 second left and say that i would like to conclude this gd okay encourage others to speak aware you know if they are not speaking please you know very polite way i would like uh, your opinion on this okay of course try to use the word sir so it will look good so and ma'am ask for opinions yeah listen and remember what others have spoken also Sometimes, yeah, it is important. What they have spoken, you can mention. You know, the person in the red shirt. Okay, he said this. Or you know, in uh, SSB there are chess numbers, right? So chess number one hundred and fifteen said this. You now I agree with this point, or you know, I I disagree with this as I have experienced this. It's a good thing. Please don't shout. But, अपना facial reaction be negative मत बोलेगा. ठीक है? It's a it's a healthy competition. Yes, it is a competition. It is not a selection round. It is an elimination round. Yes, remember this. You will be removed after this for PI. It is a competition, but it should not be shown outside. Yeah. Use simple language. Don't use you know hi-fi English accents here. Use simple English. Keep a track on the time to conclude on the time I have said. Then uh, how you speak matters most than what you speak. How you speak matters most than what you speak. Our knowledge is, but in basic thing, talking about it is not enough. How you, because they want well-behaved people. So how you speak matters most than what you speak. If you feel uh, discussion has has left the track of what it has to be spoken, please bring it on the track in a very smart way. Last time also it happened, you know. Topic which or that or. Uh, you know, we had to speak about Delhi, and you were in Kashmir, and all. Yeah, please, in a very smart way, you should try to bring it on the track. The panelists will see this also. Okay. Take initiation only if you know about the topic. Okay. Now the topic is coming. Okay. Now this is not like the regular GD what we do. You know, the topic kind of start for us only. It's for a innovative way like that. This happens in IIM. Okay, so in that way I started. So a topic will be dis displayed. The details of the topic is again circulated to you. You have to rate them according to your preference. I will give you two minutes, and you have to write the description of why you have rated them. Okay, in that manner. Okay, there are many here. In that, best three you have to choose. But second and third, and why you have chosen this? For two minutes, you have to write that. Don't scribble things; make keep it neat. Okay, because we will be taking this back. And once you have written that, take that stand only. Don't change. And on this, when I say start for 15 minutes, I think it yeah, it's a very easy topic also, but very relevant topic for instance. So 15 minutes, we shall have the group discussion. Okay, the topic. The topic is: You are fresh out of college and are applying for a job. You have received many interview calls. Rank the following criteria that you look for in your potential employer. Yes, I'll be showing you some options here now. Here, high salary as a pressure. Okay, consistent and regular promotions. Challenging jobs, lean organizational structure, interpersonal exposure, ex exposure, uh, experience, uh, headquarters, 
coaches team within five years, attractive performance bonus, annual company vacation, stable and risk-free environment, uh, nine to five hours working, lots of traveling, more watering perks, chance to make tax-free money, regular performance appraisal, on-job counseling, stiff targets, target based compensation. All these are there in this. Okay. Two minutes. Stop words. Please pass. Pass. In two minutes, you have to write the details in this event. Okay. Be smart, the details can be filled later. Good morning everyone, as we all know the topic is, is a situation based the topic that if, what can be the what can be the different criteria we, we must be looking upon when we get, go out of college according to me you know uh, like personally speaking since it's, a, it's an opinion based topic so I would say like I would like uh, a job that allows me to travel a lot since I like to travel a lot I'm in Dillon. So I travel a lot and because of traveling, you know, I feel it, it is a way of relaxing you know, since I want to join a bank and uh, bank jobs are really uh, hectic and if uh, something like uh, traveling to some place, a uh, different place, to some uh, remote places to India and uh, you know, remote places are definitely, you know, some villages or something, these, these are got uh, some serene environment so we, I can get to uh, relax also with this. That is, that is why I feel I think uh, that I should, uh, like anyone should choose uh, that a traveling job uh, is better than uh, any other thing. So this is my first criteria, uh, this is my opinion. What do you think about this? Definitely would uh, agree with your uh, points, but I would like to add my points first. I like the challenging jobs uh, with stiff targets. Since we are freshers, we are, uh, we are not having so much experience. So if we get to challenging jobs, it would strengthen our skills and uh, after strengthening our skills we will look for the most of the boards, promotions, you know, 
I believe that uh, since we uh, enter into a challenging job set up, we would frame our basic structure and what we want to uh, what we want to do in our future. Uh, so I just think that uh, we have to first uh, focus on our challenging jobs. I sure do agree with your point. You know, uh, it's important to have a challenging job. But you know, being fresh out of college and we don't know much, and you know, this will only break us. Uh, having a job from the beginning that is uh, very challenging and making uh, you know just thinking of uh, key, it will uh, give us an exposure about things and but frankly speaking there's nothing like exposure if you are on, already down on the very first uh, like in the first year only you have got like even if you are uh, have a very challenging job like you, you, are, you are preparing for SSB right so and you want to join army it's, it's definitely you will have to be a challenge job but uh, talking about the private sector the most of us are here are uh, for going for either for government jobs or private jobs so i don't think you know we need a challenging job that's not important i, I must say in our opinion i think you had my point uh, i feel uh, interpersonal exposure is really important because once you are working at the management and organization so i think um, Interpersonal exposure is uh, very important. We need to share our knowledge, we need to we get an opportunity to learn a lot of things, and uh, we also get an opportunity to share our knowledge. And uh, when we work in a team, uh, the work is also shared, so uh, it gives us an opportunity to choose the work uh, in which uh, we are good at. So, interpersonal exposure is very important. I totally agree with uh, Mr. Babala and my priority is also back with interpersonal exposure that is because we are precious and we also need the exposure that we did not have in our uh, college time so uh, I think interpersonal exposure will definitely help to, to boost our careers. Yeah, I think we took that. Even my first choice is interpersonal exposure as it will be helpful for my work and even for the global organization. And the next option which I am choosing is uh, lots of traveling. As I love traveling, so I will enjoy my job also. Uh, and the third one is on job counseling, where I can get to know about uh, how I am working uh, or what I can improve on and etc. I would like to rank challenging job on the top as I, uh, as I come from engineering background. We have Trying to solve the job, solve the problems in all the challenging tasks, and we are much more expert in this topic. And hence, I prioritize this on the top. Yes, I agree with I I agree with you, right? What you said. Uh, I'm a first one doing the challenging job. I feel uh, the job should be challenging because you you must feel you're doing something good or uh, out of box, and uh, that will create more interest in the job. So my first priority is challenging job. My second one is uh, traveling. As I know, as uh, I love traveling a lot, so I travel a lot. So traveling will make you more mature. I feel. And uh, my second uh, is also a challenging job. The um, job should be challenging because you become creative in the job. It is challenging, and uh, uh, we also get to think a lot of things. And then we have a job and uh, become more involved in things. Uh, 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 since uh, we have already told that we are uh, not challenging jobs, if we uh, go for the more, more challenging jobs, our basic, uh, whatever the backbone we call of, our basic fundamentals will be strong. And of course, we go for uh, pleasure activities like. Uh, See, uh, basically, the uh, first thing we have to think about is we are out from our uh, learning uh, background. Level. And since we are uh, into the world where there is a lot of competitiveness, so uh, in this world of competitiveness, we have to first benchmark ourselves. So, if we must benchmark ourselves, then definitely we uh, offer more of the better activity. Along with challenging jobs, uh, there should be performance bonus to the employee. Because it will increase the enthusiasm to the employee and they will try hard for, uh, to achieve their goal to complete the challenge. I totally agree with the position as well, but I also would like to add one more point that is stable and risk free environment. So that the uh, pressure should not uh, be reaching or over the job. I am speaking what you said about uh, you know a safe and uh, risk-free environment. You know it is not possible in a private job. 
since you know only the best gets a job and the rest will go to home so uh, like if you're not doing it best then you go home definitely so you know asking for something that is not possible is a sim like you know there's nothing like a freelance so uh, you will have to be um, you will have to go uh, to the next level to maintain your job if you really want to and you talked about like uh, challenging jobs and all i don't feel you know it is important to be uh, and you know, like I, i have also related on th- number 3 you no know, but i don't think you know a challenging job is very important to have since uh, you know i totally feel you know like in the like as already said it about before that in the first year if i am uh, doing something very challenging and and it bores me it will end my job it will end my career because i will be stuck doing the same thing again and again and again for the rest of my 40 like 40 years of life uh, as a banker i don't want to do that i want to enjoy my life and so from the beginning i would say like you know it is important to maintain a work life balance and as you know uh, these many multiple multinational companies like google and yahoo and uh, different companies you know these tech giants are uh, moving towards this work life balance and they are maintaining that uh, there should be people should have equal amounts of uh, like more uh, they should more be into their personal life than they work life and this encourages that boost the uh, boost the uh, employees uh, enthusiasm in working and he definitely is becomes more creative as, as somebody said uh, he becomes more creative and uh, more uh, uh, productive for the company so it is very important that we also keep leisure in a uh, as a priority Uh, I respect your points, but I don't agree with what you said. In my opinion, challenging job, solving the challenging task is what we get enjoy better from bottom of our heart, and always we try to solve the problems solving challenging tasks. I definitely I also respect your opinion, but you know what? Uh, not everyone has the same opinion because uh, you know, like uh, we all want. Uh, Like you said, you are from engineering, right? So engineering, uh, basically, you will be going on to some uh, mechanical, mechanical, so lathe machines and all, and CNC machine. Also. So what is interesting in them? What is interesting about a CNC machine? You are only going there and typing codes. You are, or you go to some other job and you are doing some work that is, uh, you know, that bores you a lot. It is for you. You can you can think you know you are new to the job and you might think that uh, yeah this is interesting because I have to do something very interesting this coding and all. But after three years, after four years, what happens? You lose the, your interest. And you know, this is where uh, there is uh, relaxation and uh, relaxation of mind comes in. So it is very important. You know, the first thing you should be saying that your job should not bore you because. after this job you don't have anything like because you know we are all engineers and most of us are engineers and uh, we will be pursuing our dreams as uh, uh, engineers and uh, like uh, we want to be doing uh, like most of us will be doing bank jobs right so it, it should not be like you know you are sitting on the computer for all day long and not not doing anything else so this will only bore you and you will not be able to do anything interesting and you will seriously you are stuck with this job for 40 years next 40 years Think of it. Before. I completely disagree with what you are talking about. There are the pairs of jobs out there. Everyone has their own uh, uh, priority for the particular job. It's not like uh, some uh, some particular job is boring for them. Some people find the entire world in that job. So it's not about just like uh, working on a particular thing, like whatever lathe machines are being used. But I uh, feel that lot more uh, changes have been brought in the lathe machines and all. Whatever lathe machines we had earlier, now uh, there is a, a great lot of varsity between the technology and the machine. It's just not about working on one particular job. It's just about uh, changing. It's just about bringing about new uh, uh, changes. What whatever what all changes we can bring into this job. I would also like to add some more points like. Uh, like whatever the fuck has for that uh, leisure or also to be an inclusion you know some people find leisure in their jobs some uh, some find uh, new or to some new places so it's just upon individuals mentality how they take it and uh, I, i believe that no job uh, is a boss job um, uh, rather we have to adapt to uh, those jobs so this is my thought yes i agree with that Uh, we we have attended a three month uh, course here yeah, for uh, various exams. Uh, here uh, we have to take problem plus and uh, this is solve problem. So when problems were challenging, we felt uh, happy solving them. When uh, problems were uh, difficult, we enjoyed solving them. And uh, this is all our personal. Thing. 
some interpersonal exposure since uh, we will get to know more people and get to know more people is get to know more experience and more experience means more opportunities for further in, in our further lives and it is a great way of uh, educating yourself and uh, making uh, new friends is very important and uh, it will definitely help us in our uh, improve in our uh, future and can get us uh, promotions and everything so it is uh, our duty to it so guys i would like to conclude on today's topic uh, that uh, whenever we are uh, out of our college and we are applying for jobs definitely we have uh, discussed most of the parameters like uh, uh, some people have told about uh, exposure personal exposure some about uh, activities some focus on uh, challenging jobs so um, so concluding and uh, uh, mixing all those parameters and all we have concluded that uh, uh, particular individuals chooses uh, to have his own uh, way of uh, uh, enjoyment and all. So based on that, we have concluded that uh, no particular parameter is a uh, 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 overpowering on other parameters. So uh, all parameters are of uh, equal importance. So uh, on the, and also focusing on individuals' ability to, uh, to take uh, how they take the parameters. You know? So I thank you this. I would like to uh, request everyone to sit there. Just see your name, your target exam, and what were your uh, first three criteria and why. For 30 seconds, in 30 seconds, okay? We will start with the person who has not spoken, Mr. Abhishek. Name, please listen to me carefully. Name, your qualification, your target exam, the criteria and why. Okay, start. Everyone, come here. Okay. My name is Abhishek Abhishek and uh, my target exam is uh, NCFMCP, which means National Conference for Awareness and And my first city uh, conditions, my first one is uh, ISLP. If you take challenging jobs and uh, challenging jobs, then you should get this, uh, then you should get the salary according to according to our work. And second one is interpersonal exposure. After uh, after getting out from college, we get to know each other, and in the jobs we uh, we share ideas and views. And third one is uh, regular performance of daily. Thanks. Okay, so my name is Vinay Chakravarty. My target exam is Bengal, and my target exam is A4. I have chosen uh, a challenging job as my first criteria. Uh, second one is skip targets. The third one is attractive performance photos. The reason being, I have selected A4 as my criteria. And A4 demands challenging jobs. I have also skipped targets. So, uh, based upon uh, those requirements, I have uh, suited myself to those particular parameters. Hello everyone, my name is Abhishek Mandan. Uh, I have completed B.E. Mechanical Engineering. And my target exams are Railways and SEC Section. My first priority is consistent and regular promotions. And second one is attractive performance bonus and lots of travel. Since I like to travel a lot, and I haven't got much opportunity to travel from the evening. So now I want to explore the various places. My name is Kabal Mane. Uh, my, 
My name is Abhay Mani. My qualification is uh, in Mechanical Engineering and my target exam is uh, Indian Railway. So my priority list goes as uh, first one is uh, interpersonal exposure, second is stable and risk free environment and third is uh, 9 to 5 job. The first one is uh, interpersonal exposure. Uh, I have chosen this because as uh, in the Indian Railway, uh, whenever I get placed in a particular uh, region or zone, there, uh, I will come across people uh, across uh, uh, all over India. So I definitely would need an uh, interpersonal exposure with them so as to get along with them uh, in, a, in my job for this uh, uh, the And the second one is stable and a risk-free environment. Uh, as it is a government job, I think it is definitely a stable uh, job. That's it. My name is Satin Thakkar. Uh, currently, I am pursuing my bachelor's degree in the field of mechanical engineering. And my target exam is on all government exams which involve technical background. And my priority is to go there for me. First, it's pass, challenging. Pass. First is challenging job. Second is interpersonal exposure. And third is high salary. And my first priority is challenging job because this is what I have said in my. Next, next. Oh, my name is Pruthi Patil. I am presently pursuing my uh, Bachelor of Engineering in Chemical Engineering. My target exams are status placements uh, and date also. The priorities which I have chosen is interpersonal exposure, lots of traveling and on job counseling. I have chosen interpersonal exposure because it will be helpful for my growth. And the, the second priority is lots of traveling. As I love traveling, it will be I'll be uh, involved in my work also and I'll enjoy it so. And the third one is on-job counselling because I will uh, get to know where I'm wrong. I can improve on myself and get better opportunities. So my name is Anjuma Kohli, I'm pursuing this one. And my target exam is that. And uh, my priority is the first one challenging job and second one is uh, internet exposure, the person exposure. And third one is regular performance at present. As uh, first is uh, challenging job because I, I will face a new uh, that is in my work, then I will go overcome and I will study and I will improve about myself about uh, that work. And uh, by getting regular performance appraisal, I will be more interested to do my work. Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Deepak Singh Best. Uh, uh, I am currently pursuing my. Deepak Singh Best. Uh, I am currently pursuing my BTEC Mechanical Engineering. And uh, my uh, target examinations are uh, inter examination for CAT and similar examinations, similar MBA programs. And I've, uh, I've rated lots of traveling on the first number and second is interpersonal exposure. The third I've uh, kept is as challenging jobs. Since uh, I've already told like uh, I like to travel a lot. So that's my first opinion. Second is interpersonal skills because this definitely improves uh, personal uh, skills and uh, personal and professional skills. And these are very necessary. So I've put it on number two. Third is a challenging job. Uh, I don't find, I don't think, you know, uh, there is something like a challenge. I apologize for having kept you waited. I thank the Indian Railway for having given me the opportunity to be here. And I have a lot of good experience doing a lot of things in the job previously. So I share a very healthy relationship with you. Thank you, sir, for choosing the right to be here. Also, thank you. He's actually on job. Okay. She requested and he's not of need to base. Okay. She is not allowed to go out, but still she has made some time for us. Thank you very much. First of all, uh, really I like the topic, the way it is presented. Uh, it makes people think a lot actually. Many of the things are overlapping. Uh, uh, it's a very good topic. Coming to the discussion, uh, just briefly, uh, I appreciate the point that uh, you considered this group discussion as a discussion in the You could put forth your words very clearly and you were observant of all of this. That is what I like to appreciate. And then uh, you, were, you had clarity on what you had uh, chosen. That is, uh, interpersonal skills, traveling, and on the council. Uh, yes, and you had clarity that is what I would like. There is always hope for improvement. Hello, Yes. Yeah, the thing is a challenging job. 
That's it. Yeah. Uh, then we have Abhishek. Yes. Very promptly and very neatly presented. One point. I think uh, easily picked up. He said, uh, consistent and regular professions. He was, we had clarity. I think there was something beyond this. He presented and didn't speak much in the discussion, but whatever he presented was very neat and very precise. So, develop on this. Uh, so that helps you even better. Okay. 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 Yes, you have chosen a lot of things. If you present, you had clarity to everything. Then you were explaining the and reading around the bush for a lot of time. Okay. 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 So you travel around, take pictures and post it on your Instagram. This is not the way at all. You are driven by that. There are people you have to convince them. Marketing jobs are not traveling jobs. Otherwise, they put you on the desktop jobs. So that is never the case. Traveling is a kind of unsettled feeling and unsettled. Uh, I mean, you cannot. You have to be a good negotiator. People won't just send you for traveling. You should negotiate, you should convince, you should have those then choose traveling. It's not a fun traveling. So please don't get swayed away by emotions on any group discussion topics. Be practical, use powerful words, say just two or three sentences and make an impact. Here we have a small group, if you have a bigger group and then a lot of people talking too much, then you will not be identified or remembered. Just three sentences with powerful words having clarity. That will help you stand out of the group. Thank you. Yeah, sorry. Satyam. Yes, you were uh, much in the discussion. You were speaking about a lot of things. Uh, high salary, consistent regular promotion, challenging jobs. And each point you had to uh, you know, present it with clarity. I mean, you clubbed them all up and said, I mean, you started with the high salary and you went more talking about challenging jobs. I think uh, this is what I could uh, capture from the general discussion. That is what it happens when you are talking too much about a lot of things in supervision, you will not be able to remember what exactly was your part. So we focus on the same. Otherwise, if you had a uh, composure in the discussion, you didn't uh, touch, drag it on either way. So you had 